Hi everyone, in this video we will be looking into a game between International Master Khanim Balajayava and International Master Vandiga Agrawal from the final round of FIDE Women's Chess Olympia 2024 between Azerbaijan and India. Let's jump right into the game. Khanim starting with the white pieces go for 1e4. Vandiga replies with c5. Knight to f3. d6. Bishop to b5 with check. Bishop to d7. Bishop takes on d7 with check. Knight takes on d7. Khanim goes over castle. Knight on g2 f6. Q into e2. e6. b3. g6. Bishop to b2. Bishop to g7. d4. c takes on d4. Bishop takes on d4. Vandiga goes for castling. c4. Q into a5. Rook to c1. a6. Knight to c3. Rook on a to c8. Rook on a to b1. Rook on f to d8. h3. Knight to h5. Bishop takes on g7. King takes on g7. Q into e3. Knight to e5. Knight to d4. Knight to c6. Knight takes on c6. Rook takes on c6. a4. Q into c5. Q into d2. Q into e5. Rook to e1. Rook on c to c8. Rook on b to d1. Knight to f6. Rook to e3. h5. Rook to d3. Q into a5. Q into e3. Knight to e8. Q into d4 with check. King to g8. Rook on 1 to d2. Rook to c6. Q into e3. Rook on d to c8. Knight to e2. Q into c5. Knight to d4. Rook to b6. Q into g3. King to g7. Rook to f3. Knight to f6. So if you look at this position, after 33 moves to the game, both the players have made slight mistakes and failed to take the significant advantage and press for the win. And still, Kanim is having an advantage of plus 1 here. So here, Vandiga is attacking Kanim's pawn on e4 with a knight. So the right continuation here for Kanim to maintain her advantage is to play rook to e3 and defend that pawn. But she will play a blunder here which is queen to h4 trying to defend that pawn. Problem with this move is that Vandiga can kick away the queen by playing g5. Because the g5 pawn is guarded by the queen and h5 pawn is guarded by the knight. So queen is forced to move and queen moves to g3. And once the queen moves, Vandiga can capture the pawn. Knight takes on e4 and it comes with an attack on the rook and the queen as well. Because of one single move blunder, Vandiga is having a winning advantage of minus 5.2. And here, Kanim give away her rook by playing rook takes on f7 with check. King takes on f7. Q into e3. Q into e5. Rook to e2. Knight to f6. Q into d3. Q into f4. Knight takes on e6. Q into c1 with check. King to h2. Rook to e8. Q into f5. Rook takes on b3. Knight takes on g5 with check. So if you look at this position, after 43 moves, Vandiga Agrawal is completely living in the game with 4 points of material and minus 7.1 on the bar. So I want you to pause this video for, for a moment and try to find out the only move that Vandiga has in this position that will win the game for her and retain her advantage. Kudos if you are able to figure out the only winning move in this position for Vandiga Agrawal and that is right now her king is under the check of the knight and only move, one, one option is king moving to g7 away from the check and this will end with rook takes on e8. Khanim is back with the winning advantage so this move will not work and the remaining options are moving the king to g8 and this will end with q to g6 with check, king to h8, knight to f7. A beautiful checkmate. So this move will also won't work for Vandika. And the only move that will work for Vandika is a queen sacrifice. And she has to give away her queen for this knight. And that is the exact move played by Vandika as well. And once the queen accepts this sacrifice, then the rook will come and capture the rook. So at the end of the trade, Vandika is still up on three points of material. And here Karim continues with queen to f4, rook, to, rook on b to b2. Queen takes on d6, rook takes on f2, queen to c7 with check, king to g6, king to g3, rook takes on g2 with check, king to f3, h4, queen to c8, rook to g3 with check, king to f4, rook to e2, queen to f5 with check, king to g7, queen to c5, and rook to e1. And it was in this position, after 53 moves into the game, Kanim Barajayava has resigned the game to Vandika Agrawal.
uh, Indian women's team went on to win their first ever women's Olympiad gold and completing gold on both the men's and women's section.